During the spring and autumn period in ancient China, there was a man named Sun Yang from the state of Qin who was skilled in horse evaluation. He could distinguish the good from the bad in any type of horse at a glance, and was frequently invited to assess and select horses. In order to help more people learn horse evaluation and prevent valuable horses from being overlooked, and to ensure that his own unique skill would not be lost, Sun Yang compiled his years of experience and knowledge into a book on horse evaluation, complete with illustrations of various horse types. Sun Yang had a son who aspired to be as skilled as his father. The son studied the book carefully and believed that he too had the ability to evaluate horses. The book contained descriptions such as a tall forehead, eyes as big and round as coins, hooves large and round, with a proper stance, like stacked blocks. One day, the son saw a large toad outside and exclaimed, This toad has a raised forehead and big, bright eyes. Isn't it a fine steed? He was overjoyed and brought the toad home to show his father, saying, Father, I have found a fine steed, though its hooves are a bit subpar. When Sun Yang saw the toad, he could not help but laugh and cry at the same time. He humorously remarked, Unfortunately, this horse loves to jump too much and cannot be used for pulling carts. The son mistook a toad for a fine steed due to his reliance on the book's guidelines. This is an exaggeration used by the author of the fable. However, it is a common occurrence in learning and work to blindly follow rules and regulations, resulting in mistakes and losses. This story has two meanings. First, it metaphorically illustrates the importance of following clues when searching for something. It highlights that people should follow certain clues and explore the unknown based on what is already known. The development of things also changes along the causal chain, so one can discover and understand the effect by examining the cause, which is a commonly used method in practice. Second, it metaphorically illustrates the danger of blindly following rules and regulations. It shows that if people become too fixated on details, clues, or what is known, when searching for and exploring the unknown, their thinking may become trapped within linear logic and dogmatism, which is a common mistake.